Come for the Jamaica national team. In the, in the table is the Jamaica head coach, Heimer Helminson. So uh, remember that this is uh, we have translations and uh, Spanish and English, and uh, there is only one question per person. So you can raise your hand, and we can give you the microphone. The, the next one. Coach, uh, congrats on getting to the semis. You talked yesterday about uh, Guatemala's transition from defense to attack and making sure that we are, um, you know, paying, paying attention to that. Um, what do you think, uh, how do you think that went in terms of the game today? Um, yeah, I think it, it went quite well. Of course, we didn't concede a goal. That was, that was a key thing when you are in a knockout competition, not to concede goals, then you always give yourself a chance to, to win. Uh, we knew that the first minutes, maybe first 20, 30 minutes, uh, they would start with, with a lot of power, a lot of running, and, and I give, I give uh, Guatemala and, 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 and Tena, Luis Tena, a, a, a huge respect for, for this team. It's, um, it's a lot of passion and pride in, in, in this Guatemala team, really exciting team. Um, and they have surprised many, uh, thank God, they did not surprise us, we were ready for w what was coming and we knew the, the first 20-30 minutes we needed to be careful not to concede because there was so much energy from the crowd that they, they kind of suck in in the beginning Then slowly uh, you, you could feel the, their power faded away a little bit and then we, we got our chances so it was Tactically, really well played from our boys. How they how they played this. We we should have scored more goals. We we, we created open goal scoring chances, but we didn't, and that's always a danger w when you when you play teams like like Guatemala. Coach Hartspell with Concacaf.com. Uh, congratulations on the win. Thanks, so uh, Amari Bell getting the the goal. Just talk to me a little bit about Amari. His you know, it's his first international goal. What a moment to do it. Um, it's just kind of emblematic of what this Gold Cup has been for Jamaica. Every single game, somebody's coming to the forefront. Different guys are coming to the forefront and getting the job done. And, and the job that Amari did tonight, speak to, to what he did. No, I think that is a healthy sign of a team in, in making and building. And, and it's just a, a process. Amari, for me, Amari is a very constant player he, he's he, he doesn't have a super match but he is always like an eight so he always delivers um, when performing if you look at him playing now next year in the in the in the Premier League he, you would see the same so he's, he's a really consistent player uh, doesn't do m mistakes but to add a, a goal in such an important match is, is fantastic for us and it's fantastic for him so uh, no, I, I can only say he's, he's a true professional. There's never any problems with Amari. He will always play. He will always play all the minutes you ask of him. Uh, and he's a warrior. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I and we are all pleased for him to, to get this goal. But he should, should not have been there, though. <laughs> Coach, here. Juancho Villaverde, ESPN. Uh, Coach, uh, I see you have a few. I saw you having some words with Tena at the end of the of the match. What did you tell the Guatemala's coach? No, the same things I said to him before the the game. I, I've been impressed with um, everything uh, about this team. Um, like I said, they have surprised many, but I can see a good structure. Uh, they they have they have confidence on the ball good confidence that they have speed and skillful players uh, and with continuous work I think this is a force that to be reckoned with in, in in the future so I don't know Guatemala from the past we have only analyzed them or I have only seen them now before this tournament and I, I'm really really impressed uh, with, with his work uh, on, on this team so I was just complimenting him with his work uh, and uh, wishing him good luck uh, against us so so yeah I, I think sim I think some coaches maybe are in the shadow when they have smaller teams but he is doing a, a fantastic job and and that should be recognized 
Robert Williams, IRFM Jamaica. Congratulations, coach, on making it to the semi final. Um, it goes without question that you are satisfied with the win. But talk to us about the execution that we saw throughout this game today. Where are you as far as that is concerned? Well, um, first half we were, I, I would say we were tactically a little open in regards to defending. We were over ambitious. So meaning we, we were we were rushing things both when defending we were we were trying to win the ball individually instead of collectively. I think that was and then you then you lose a lot of energy in a game like this intense game. Uh, it was a really hot and and we were trying to win the ball individually. The same when we had possession, it was too much individual instead of collective. We should have passed the ball quicker uh, to make them run instead of dribbling it too much. So. We learned a lot from this match, uh, but still we, we did enough to win. But I would say this performance would probably not be enough to win Mexico in three days. So we need to learn from this game and we need to, to be more like a team, even though we are happy with what is happening. Uh, you know, we, are, we, we have now two games in a row without conceding a goal, which is always a good sign when you are in a knockout competition. Uh, so some things we, we, we recognize that we did not do well. Uh, the same with uh, changes. Now we, we might suffer to, to have done the changes maybe a little bit late in the game. But it was more important to win this match rather than thinking two steps ahead and then maybe lose, lose and concede a goal. So um, there's a lot of things going on in a coach's head in a game like this. But overall, I think we, we, we had a good team performance today. Really a good team performance. And you could see the passion of the players. There was a lot of tired legs in, in, in the final minutes of the game. And Guatemala tested us in, in that area. So, no, it, tactically I'm, I'm, I'm happy, but we can learn and improve both attacking and, and defensive. Buenas, buenas tardes, le saluda Easy Deportes, uh, coach. Eh, ¿Cómo califica al rival de Guatemala y si ustedes uh, consideran que fueron superiores en este compromiso? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've complimented them a lot. Uh, uh, I, I would say this game was, was a 50-50 game. They probably have worked together longer than us as a team. Uh, so, but we have uh, probably better individuals. So we are in the same process of, uh, as Tena has been doing with, with the Guatemalans. Uh, so a lot of new players doing their first games for Jamaica. And, and I feel that we are, we are gaining strength by every game we play. Uh, there's more players now. Uh, understanding what we want and we have more options to play players so yeah I would say uh, originally we we treated Guatemala with a big respect didn't talk them down we, we, we talked them up show them all the, the, the Guatemalan strength so I think in the end that was the key that that uh, we knew what we were facing so they are they're a team that can hurt a lot of nations if they are not careful Coach, good night. Uh, Minor Barrios from Claro Sports, Guatemala. Uh, what do you think about this next uh, match uh, against Mexico? Oh, we, we, we do that, we do that uh, on purpose, not to think much ahead. But, of course, we saw the game yesterday. Um, I would say Mexico is not so different from Guatemala in the sense that it's a... It's a is the intensity in the in the play, both with the ball and without the ball, is is a, an intensity in, in in the matches. So it, it it requires a lot of energy to play teams like we did today, and we play Mexico next. So they, they play high pressure, um, really skillful players at a high level. So yeah, it's it's just one step higher than than maybe guatemala is at this stage but but uh, same 
same areas of strength, I would say. Just individual talent is, is a little bit higher than, than at Guatemala. Did I answer the, the question enough? Okay, we open the virtual press conference. Let me make it this and then, then change it. Live in Scott, you can make your question. Wait, 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 wait. Can, can, can you raise the volume? I don't hear anything. Okay. You can make your question again, please. Please again. Yeah, like like I said before, I'm 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 really proud of the boys. I think we are showing signs of uh, a healthy team. That is what I am happy with. So uh, working together in defense and also in attack, I think we are we are growing as a team in that sense. It's my hope that we will be really really difficult team to beat for any nation in the world. That will be in the end because we will have the talent to score. We will always have the talent to score. We have spe incredible speed and we have incredible individual talent, especially up front. Uh, so if we can grow as a unit, defend as a unit and be a, a hard team to beat, then I think we have a chance against every nation in the world. That is how I see it and that is what I'm happy with. Hi, coach. Uh, Hugo Ramirez from Univision, Univision to the N. Uh, what can you assess about the qualities that the Mexican side of Jaime Lozano, that only has four games on, on his helm, and, and this uh, uh, subject of interim, interim head coach of Mexico, what are the qualities of a Mexican side uh, previous of, of seeing them next Wednesday? Uh, I myself haven't watched all the Mexican matches. I saw them against uh, Qatar, really, really a strange match. I saw them live against them, and then yesterday I saw them against Costa Rica. Now the, the, the coach uh, has done a, a lot of good things in a short period uh, of time. Um, like I said, their, their strengths are in many ways similar to, to Guatemala. It's, it's skillful players, fast players, high energy team. Um, and they have, they have been convincing in this tournament. They have been convincing in this tournament. Even the game they lost against Qatar, they were really, really convincing as a, as a team. So probably they, they are the favorites in this competition. Um, but I think we can, like I said, if we, we continue to grow as a team, I think we can give them a good fight uh, in three days in Las Vegas. And uh, yeah, we, we're not afraid, but we, we need to focus now on what we have to do, that is recover and be ready for uh, another difficult away match. It's, it's starting to get a little bit boring playing against <laughs> full stadium of opponents. <laughs> but this is the finish for the press conference. Thank you so much for the time. Coach.